Evaluate the extent to which the redistribution of blood flow is necessary during a hockey match. Within this answer, the AO1 answer is part is in blue, the red is the AO2, and the AO3 is highlighted in purple. Redistribution of blood flow is also known as vascular shunting, where blood is directed away from the digestive system to the working muscles. During the inactive sections of the hockey game, the digestive system experiences vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction is the narrowing of the internal dynamometer of blood vessels to restrict the volume of blood traveling through it. This allows more oxygenated blood to be supplied to the working muscles. The active muscles experience vasodilation. Vasodilation is where the internal dynamometer of the arteries widens, allowing an increase in blood flow. The main advantage of vascular shunting is it allows the working muscles to have more oxygenated blood and nutrients when needed. The redistribution is required because of the increased demand of oxygenated blood by the muscles during different parts of the match, for example walking, jogging, sprinting. Due to the nature of the hockey game, which has different levels of intensity during different periods of low and high intensity, the blood redistribution will change accordingly to allow the athlete to sustain high performance throughout the game.